Hey, what's up guys? Man, I hope you're having a great week. I hope everything is going your way this week. And even if it's not, it's okay. Cause God not only loves you, but you have a brand new day tomorrow. Brand new day of God's mercies, his love, a new day of his blessing, a new day. And so it's gonna be amazing. But I wanna talk to you and I wanna celebrate last Sunday. Can we just make some noise and celebrate all that God did in the house this past Sunday, it was incredible. We saw three people cross the line of faith and give their life to Jesus in Navarre alone, not to mention all of our other campuses that met last weekend. But man, we saw God do so much. We had Chris Brown in the house. How incredible was that? Having Chris Brown, I mean, such an incredible, uh, incredibly gifted communicator and someone who just has such a voice for stewardship and leadership and and he brought it and so he gave us a lot of great feedback being at our church and I kind of want to let you in on the inside a little bit there was two things he really wanted us to know um, afterwards we were debriefing how to go what you think he got to travel to all of our campuses and for Navarre he said man you need to know um, man the energy was through the roof he's like man y'all are the kind of people I want to preach to and man what a great compliment right? Like, you know, y'all are the kind of people that, man, makes a preacher want to preach. And so I was like, I like that compliment. I'm going to write that down and share it. So, man, great job. And that was the feedback he had for several of our campuses. And so, but not only that, he said, man, I don't know what you're doing. He's like, but y'all are getting everybody in the game serving on a, on a volunteer team. And so, man, our volunteers, you guys are crushing it. Proud of y'all. Way to not only serve so well, but to recruit well and get other people in the game and give them opportunities to use the gifts and the talents that God has given them. And so I want to tell you about a couple things coming up. This weekend is Heart for the House. You've seen the videos. You've heard us talk about it. Now is the time for us to sacrifice and get with God and say, God, what would you have us give? Right? And this is not your tithe. This is an addition and this is above and beyond the tithe. In God's word, he teaches that that's called the offering. You have your tithe and then you have the offering. And so if God is leading you, if momentum has made an impact in your life and you want to get in the game, like, man, this is a great opportunity for you to 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 sow a seed, for you to plug in, for you to um, for you to give generously and live out our nautical marker that we are irrationally generous because generosity generates what? Goodness. And so what a great opportunity to live that out. Pray, God, what would you have us give? Lord, stretch our faith. God, grow our confidence in you. And uh, man, what a great opportunity. My wife and I, we cannot wait to give to Heart for the House, and we would invite you to do the same. Um, you can give online to Heart for the House, or you can bring your offering and drop it in the box. Um, at all of our gatherings this weekend. It's going to be incredible. What a great opportunity. Heart for the house. That's this weekend. Write it down. Don't miss it. And then, of course, after next this week, we're also wrapping up um, our legacy series. And it's been such an incredible series. You could go on and share it. I'd encourage you to share the hashtag LegacyMC. Um, post the messages, share them, tag people that you know, man, would bless them if they had a chance to hear the message. And so Legacy MC is wrapping up um, this week. And then we're kicking off a brand new series. I'm so excited. Um, I want you guys to be the first to know. We're kicking off a brand new series and the series is called Christmas at the Movies. We're so stoked about this. We are, we've done the series in the past and this isn't just sitting in church watching movies. It's not just that. What it is, it's an incredible opportunity to reach your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, maybe your aunts, your uncles. I mean, anybody you know, they wouldn't, like church is not their deal, but you would say, well, it's kind of different, you know, come check it out. We're gonna watch Elf. We're gonna watch um, Home Alone. We're gonna watch, I'm not gonna give you the third movie. You just gotta wait and come and check it out, man. Um, but what an incredible opportunity to invite people to sit by you and go, man, this is the series you don't want to miss Christmas at the movies and, uh, and that is starting next next weekend next Sunday in Navarre and so we'll have invite cards ready for you to pass them out and don't come alone on Sundays last last thing Christmas Eve gatherings be on the lookout we are announcing those times and uh, it's going to be man it's going to be so good I can't wait to see you know here's the truth for Christmas Eve people are going to go to church 
your neighbors, like they're gonna go somewhere. You get to answer the question, where? And invite them to come sit with you for Christmas Eve at Momentum Church. Thank you for what you do. Love you, and we'll, uh, we'll see you soon.